Okay, so this is the intro to Banana Pancakes. It sounds like this. Now that little line you're going to play on the E string, you're going to slide from the 5th fret to the 7th. Probably use your 3rd finger, because your 1st finger is going to come back to this last A string and play the 5th fret. Then you go back to the 7th fret on the E, to the 5th fret, down to the 3rd fret, to the 4th fret with your middle finger here, on the C string, then slide on the E from 3 to 5. And you can keep your finger there when you're playing this 4th fret here, so you got... I even actually do a slide from this 5 to 3, then play the 4th fret, then slide back up from th 3 to 5. muted thing where you do this little percussive sound with your hand. You're not really playing any, any notes. It's just a, a sound. So you got... And then when you come back up, you're going to play all these strings open and it gives you an A minor 7 chord. And that's the chord he's playing there. So you got... the second half of it, you do the same thing. You slide from 5 to 7, then play the 5th fret up here, back to the 7th, 5th, 3rd, over to the 4th fret on the C, then the last note is different. You're just going to stay at 3 here on the, the uh, E string. So you got... And then you do that little percussive sound again, that muting. And then you're going to play a G7 on the way back up. There's your G7 chord. So the intro from the top. Okay, now he starts singing, and you're still going to do a little line here. <clears throat> you're going to start off with that same thing that you played. You're going to go 5 to 7 to the 5th fret on the A. But this time you go up to the 7th fret on the A as well. So you got... Then back to the 5th, to the 7th on the E. 5th fret on the E. No, sorry. You don't go to the fifth, I'm sorry, you stay at seven. So you go. After that seventh note, after that seventh fret on the E, you're gonna go to the fourth fret on the C again, then slide from three to five on the E. So you got, can't you see that it's just raining? Then do that A minor seven again. And then the next part is the same as the second half, so you got, there's no need to go outside. So then you're going to do that same thing where you slide. 5 to 7, up to 5. Then do the G7. And after that, going into the verse, he plays a D7 chord twice. Just two little hits, one, three, and four. Then you bar all of them at the second fret. Put your third finger here at the third on the last string. So here's the whole intro. 